YouTube. <laughs> it's Tiffany, call me Beauty Dean. I'm back with another um, story time today. This story time is a lighthearted, funny story time. Um, it's there's absolutely no point to it. So if you're looking for like um, advice on this one or warning, it's none of that. It's just a funny story. So this story time will be about the time that I was in fact on the news. Um, I'm gonna get to the news station in a second. I think it was CBS. It wasn't Fox, it wasn't, um, yeah, it, it was the CBS News. Anyway, so um, so let's take take it back all the way to, it wasn't that long ago, it was some years ago. I was in college, it was my sophomore year in college. Um, this was back when I had a really close best friend um, from through high school and college and beyond. Um, no one in this story I'm friends with anymore or talk to or hang out with or anything like that. I left all the basics back in the east of nowhere. <laughs> no shade. That was a little bit of shade, but who cares? So anyway, so it all started when, like I said, I went to a college downtown in the um, middle of the city. So it wasn't unusual to have a lot of news reporters around and things like that for different reasons, um, especially being so close to the state capitol. So um, me and my best friend was walking down the street and um, this news reporter, I don't, I don't know which one guy. So let's just call him um, Ken Burns or something. Let's just say it was Ken Burns. <laughs> I don't remember. So uh, Ken, Ken Burns was in the street, and I was walking. I guess I, I was done with class, or we were done with class, or something, or walking to get something to eat, maybe. I don't know. So we're walking down the street, and he was like, you know. All these costumes were passing him, and we were passing him, and he was like, hey, you guys want to be on the 6 o'clock news? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, of course I do. Um, I was, I just wanted to. I don't know. Um, my friend was a little bit hesitant, but I was like, come on, you know, just do it. She was like, okay, whatever. So um, this was back when, um, you know, the Hope Scholarship was, they're about to ch make changes to it, and the news reporters were trying to, uh, the media was trying to, you know, push it down, I guess, taxpayers' faces, and like, I, you know, it was just a big story at the time. I'm not sure why, but it was a big story, and um, he was trying to do a story on how it's affecting college students, and so what better way than to come to um, well, a very popular college right in the middle of the city? So he was trying to get college students to come on camera and, you know, he was interviewing college students, basically. And so he picked me and my friend to interview. I'm sure he interviewed more than just us. But anyway, so um, he was telling us, he was saying, you know, because I was asking, so, OK, so what is this about? You know, what do I need to say? You were saying, you know, just, you know, make make the story believable, like say that he wanted to show college students who were like struck, like like struggling, kind of like not struggling, but like needed assistance you know things like that like having to work basically like make your story more i guess dramatic like he wanted us to you know emphasize that you know we had to work you know because all these changes made to hope you know that's gonna affect us negatively and all this yeah the media is they spin things so those interviews y'all see they're telling people a lot of times to you know they push certain things because like i was like uh, he was like, you know, what well, what do you do? You know, do you, are you working right now? I was like, yeah, I work. He's like, do you have work because you have to? I was like, no. I was like, I just work. Like, what? <laughs> he was like, no, you know, make it sound like, you know, you really have to work because of hope. They're changing hope scholarship. They're taking away money from y'all students and things like that. He's like, you know, make put emphasis on the fact that you have to work and stuff and talk about, you know, what you go through. And I was like... I'll make it as believable as you want me to for these two minutes of fame. So <laughs> I was like, okay. So, you know, he interviewed me and my story was okay. But my friend's story, I think hers was better because, you know, he, he really could get more out of her as far as like, you know, her having to work two jobs and things like that. And um, I just remember, I don't remember all the details, but I remember him asking us things like, you know, um, how is it affecting us? Did we get Hope Scholarship? You know, do we use that? And we were saying, you know, if we don't have Hope Scholarship, you know, our tuition, we're not going to get our tuition paid, which truth be told, um, my tuition would have got paid anyway. 
um, because of other things. And other people got Pell Grant, so. But but we did use hope, so anyway, so it was, it was partly true. It was true to to a certain extent. It was true. So um, we were like, you know, oh, you know, it's so hard. We have to work, and you know, they're changing hope and all this and that. And then the last shot or the last thing he he was saying, okay, now we're gonna get a scene of you guys walking, holding hands, and things. <laughs> it was so fake. I was like, okay. Uh, so we were walking down the street. Y'all, yeah, this was me. <laughs> I was all in the I was all in the camera. It was a hot mess. I was doing all kind of stuff. I was doing like this. Walking down the street. Y'all, yeah, he had it on the six o'clock news. So anyway, so after the interview, I asked myself, okay, so what channel is it going to be on? And he told me the channel, blah, blah, blah. I said, is it going to play, you know, throughout the evening news? He was like, yeah, it's going to be on the 6 o'clock news, the 5 o'clock, um, and all, the, and later on and everything. And he was like, yeah, they're going to keep repeating it. So y'all, I ran home. I ran, well, not literally ran, but drove home really fast. Because I was so excited. I ran home to tell my parents. And I was like, guys, guys, you know, I'm on the news. I'm on the news. I'm on the 6 o'clock news. So we turned in. We tuned in to watch it. And it was so funny. All my parents saw was him walking down the street looking crazy, doing all kinds of stuff. I was doing like this. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we had a good laugh at that. Then the next day I went into work and I thought I was a celebrity. Everybody was like, girl, I saw you on the news. I saw you on the news. I was like, huh. <laughs> <sighs> It was funny. It was a lot of fun. So, yes, y'all, I was on the news. It was a lot of fun. It was, this was, um, what year was this? I don't know. I guess it was 08, 09. I don't know. It was some years ago. Um, and there was one, there was one scene. He actually interviewed me, and I was on, like, the, came on, maybe it was 4 o'clock or something. I don't know. Well, maybe the news didn't come on at 4 there was one scene where he interviewed me, and at the time I had like curly hair, like big curly weave, and I didn't get to see that footage. I really want to see that footage. If anyone knows that footage is from CBS, tell Ken Burns I'm looking for him. I'm just kidding. Ken Burns is not on CBS, y'all. Where is Ken Burns on? Is he on Fox News? I don't know. It wasn't Ken Burns. It was some guy. It was some reporter. I don't know his name. I don't watch CBS News like that. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So everyone was like, yeah, I saw your interview. And they were like, all I saw was hair. I was like, I am so scared to see that footage. It probably looks awful. So anyway, yeah. Um, um, this will be one of the last, um, one of the last vlogs that I do before 2016 is over. I'm so excited for my last vlog of 2016. It's going to be so much fun. I'm not going to spoil a surprise. It's going to be a surprise for what it's going to be about, but it's going to be funny. All right, take care.